solvents are chemicals used in a variety of products, such as paints, inks, adhesives, and fingernail polish. Some solvents are toxic, and each year in the U.S., over a billion pounds of toxic solvents are used. As a result, consumers and workers are exposed to these toxic chemicals. Exposure to toxic solvents is extremely hazardous to human health. Toxic solvents are known to impair the proper functioning of the central nervous system, can cause cancer, and can adversely affect the reproductive system. Researchers at UMass Lowell have been working to find alternative solvents that are both safer and just as effective as the toxic solvents that they will replace. Terry's been successful at identifying alternatives to these toxic solvents because we use an approach called the Hansen Solubility Parameter Approach. And what it does, it enables you to characterize the solvents and how they actually do their performance so that we can actually look for alternatives that would perform comparably to the ones we're trying to replace. After we find alternatives that work comparable to methylene chloride, we then conduct a comprehensive environmental health and safety evaluation to ensure that the new solvent blends are indeed safer. Not only do we try to find a one-for-one -one replacement, but we can find a blend of solvents to replace a toxic solvent. And it really allows you to automate that process of looking at all different combinations. We're using it to find alternatives for very toxic chemicals that are used in paint stripping products. The toxic chemical that's being used there is methylene chloride. We start with a universe of 10,000 plus solvents. We use a software tool to narrow it down to a few dozen that um, have promising characteristics. And then we can use the software for those remaining dozens of solvents to find the right combinations of those that will meet the final requirements that we're looking for. Here are some examples of the test boards that we use for our research to evaluate the effectiveness of the paint strippers. What we do is we apply a, one layer of primer and then cover them with four to five layers of top coat. Here we have one of the test boards that we applied one layer of white primer to it and then covered it with four layers of varnish coating. And each of these rings is a separate test for a, a different paint stripping product. So here within this ring, we tested a methylene chloride based paint stripper. And here within this ring, we tested one of the UMass Lowell developed formulations. And as you can see, they were both very effective at getting the varnish in the primer layer off and exposing the wood substrate. Within these two rings, we tested alternative products that are available on the market today that do not contain methylene chloride. And as you can see, they were much less effective at removing the varnish. The new formulations developed by UMass Lowell meet the need of an effective paint stripper that's safer than the toxic solvent methylene chloride. We've done this process in less than one year, and methylene chloride's been used in the painting industry for about 70 years, so the solution has not been found in 70 years, but we were able to do it by using this approach and in the, verify it in the lab in less than one year. The project that we're working on with ITW is to remove toxic solvents from contact adhesives. It started about two years ago after we met with a representative from ITW at the Turi Symposium. Contact adhesives are used to bond typically laminates to plywood or to particle board. So an example is even the desk that I'm sitting at, uh, which has a laminate surface that's bonded to a substrate. We had potentially thousands of chemicals that we could have used in our formulation. The goal is for the polymer to be soluble in the solvents. So we needed to think about solvents that uh, enabled the solubility, but which hit cost targets. And in our case, we also needed to hit evaporation targets. HSPIP is very good at optimizing for solubility, but it's not designed to optimize for cost. So in our own script, we uh, calculated both the solubility as well as the cost of a large number of suspensions. And we found uh, compositions that were sufficiently soluble, but which had significantly lower cost. We were able to transition from the original solvent combination of acetone, hexane, and toluene to multiple other potential combinations, uh, which we've presented to ITW. We were able to meet their evaporation metrics, their bonding strength metrics, 
as well as the cost targets that they gave us. So overall, uh, really a large success. If I could emphasize anything, uh, to, especially to the industry partners, is just how much progress we were able to make within one year. I have many different research projects and this tool enabled us to rapidly iterate through many suspensions much faster than I thought I'd be able to. Um, to reach a patent, a journal article, and a solution within one year is just in my mind unprecedented for research. Thank you.